Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of which relied upon it as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Treasury Wine Estates has got the resumption of China, and you need to go through their numbers to see what that could mean, because now with the tariffs being removed, on wine exports out of Australia, there is going to be a volume growth in penfolds on a fairly incremental level. And underpinning the entry level brands are things like Max and also the Karunga Hill. All these multi-origin numbers going back into China is really, really quite a positive thing for TWE. Reason for it is that since the tariffs took into effect, TWE reduced its luxury intake. And therefore, we now have a scenario where with the resultant exports to start up again, with the likely increase in Chinese demand for Penfold products particularly, there's actually likely to be a gap between the supply and the demand that we're going to see. And with that in mind, there's a really decent argument to be made that maybe price will be quite strong in the interim as that supply gap and that demand gap starts to really move. It's also about rebuilding the brand. It gives the ability, therefore, to really position Penfolds as this absolute key premium brand player out there. And with minimal supply, they can play on that even further. So let's watch what happens to TWE over the next couple of years. And with the tariffs now unwound and back into the Chinese market, which was once upon a time, it's absolute bedrock of what it was doing. Can it continue to get its market share back on track, but also a price that is above and beyond what was expected?